Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Dog. Welcome back to my channel. So, I am here with a bunch of little things and my junk journal here. And I just thought we would do some easy finishing touches for our journal. Um, so, I'm going to kind of just show you the types of things that I've brought along. And they're really kind of elegant little things that are going to take your journal to the next level. Um, you know, all these little things kind of make such a big difference. I mean, of course, I'm very drawn to, you know, to bling and things like that. If you watch my channel, you'll know that. Um, but, you know, I think actually anybody can adapt these things. They don't have to be, you know, pink, for example. They don't have to be blingy things, for example. You know, you could just adapt some of the things that I brought along here to things that do so suit your style. So, for example, I've got here some pink velvet ribbon. Um, this is a very pink, girly journal. But this kind of pink ribbon, if I just kind of show you a couple of examples of, you know, where it could be used. In here, I've got these plain pages, which I would use for, you know, what I would call my journaling pages. And you could just take this ribbon, kind of like line it up down the edge. You could then fold it over, making little banner pieces. And that would kind of just run down here. You could put on one of those little buckles. Now, this is where I find that this ribbon is not even going to fit through this buckle. But, okay. Things like this. I mean, obviously, you may want to choose your ribbon or your buckles slightly more carefully. But, you know, so they fit, oops, fit better. But just things like that are going to just take your journal to the next level. I mean, how gorgeous does that look? Obviously, the ribbon on its own, it did look fine. You know, there's no reason why you couldn't use the ribbon on its own. It looked absolutely fine. Um, but this looks, you know, absolutely gorgeous, in, in my opinion. Um, and that's just transformed that whole page. I mean, I can't really call it a page layout because, of course, it's just two plain pages. This is what I would call my journaling pages. Um, but rather than just have them looking completely plain, which, you know, there's nothing really wrong with that. But if you just put this, it's taken up really no space on your page, but really kind of elevates it to another level, doesn't it? So that's a kind of idea for ribbon. And like I say, if you're not into pink and girly, you know, if this is not really your thing, you could use, you know, for example, brown ribbon, you know, and instead of a pearly buckle, you could use a metal buckle or something like that. There's, you know, there's no reason why you can't use some of these ideas, but in your particular style. You don't have to go with the super girly looks. Just adapt the things that we're showing here, you know, for something that possibly does suit your style. So that's kind of ribbon. I've got here this gorgeous, um, I think they call this embroidery on glaze, and I'm so sorry. I say it every time in a video because <laughs> I'm just never 100% sure. Um, but I've got this little trim. So again, you could put this just down the edge. It's a bit like a fabric ruffle. You could put that down the edge there, or you could just take oops, take a portion of it. You know, if you didn't want to smother your whole side piece, you could just put a portion of it like that. So I'm going to move these things actually out of the way so you can see just, you know, just using one thing, how much that transforms that layout. So you could just put it there. You could put it on the inside. You know, things don't always have to be on the outside. And I'm guilty of this. I do automatically always tend to put things on the outside. But there's no reason why you couldn't put this on the inside here. You know, in between kind of your holes. You could put it on the bottom, put it in the centre. Put it on the top. You know, just moving it around. But again, it's just making this page look a bit more interesting. And like with the ribbon... It's not encroaching on your journaling space at all. It's just providing a little bit of decorative nicety, you know, something that's pleasing to the eye, but without actually encroaching on your space at all. So, you know, something like that would be quite nice. And again, if you don't have something like this, all they've done is, you know, I mean, I bought this obviously together, but all, all it is effectively is a strip here with some fabric kind of ruffled onto there. So you could make your own version of this. Again, if this wasn't your style, you could take your fabric that you do like and you could just make something similar to this. So you just had a portion of this that you could then, you know, move around and put on some of your pages. Obviously, you know, lace, I mean, I absolutely love lace. So, you know, there's no ends of, you know, where I would, where I would put lace. 
Um, so, you know, of course you could use lace and things like that, but you may want to kind of like um, accentuate, would that be the word? Accentuate your lace. I don't know whether that is the word. And yes, <laughs> let's, let's explain what I mean and then we'll find out whether it's the word or not. So by that, what I'm saying is you could take two different laces and kind of layer them up. So for example, here, and then that straight away just looks a bit more interesting. I mean, it looks fine like this, but if you just kind of layer up your laces, that straight away just looks a little bit, oops, a little bit more interesting. And, you know, I'm not saying please into the eye because I think it looks please into the eye anyway, but it just elevates it and just changes it from being just a standard piece of lace. It looks, you know, slightly more um, interesting and, you know, more imaginative, I suppose. So you can do things like that with your lace. You could take very tiny bits of lace. So this is obviously, you know, that same same lace that I just pulled in. But it's just the, um, you know, what do you call this? Ruffled, sc scalloped edge. It's just the scalloped edge portion. Now, I've obviously taken this off of some lace to use for something else. So as you can see there, it's completely kind of misshapen now. You know, some is bigger than others. Some is, you know, very narrow. So you could just take that and kind of like layer this up again, just down the edges. You could cut it, so take it there where it's kind of naturally cut. You could just put it on here. I'll just take a couple of other bits. Oh, it's got another natural cut there. Like this. And then for example, take a little bow and just have it Oh, so sorry. That's my doorbell. Hold on a second. Oh, so sorry about that. That was the postman. Um, So yeah, just by putting a little bow, you've got then a little sort of banner. And again, doesn't that just look so pretty? I mean, honestly, these things are so quick and so easy, but they really are taking your journal to the next level and just, um, you know, elevating things that would otherwise be plain pages. They're now, you know, fancy pages, but with plenty of journaling space. They're not really bulking the journal out at all. They're all quite flat things that we're doing here, but they just kind of elevate it to the next level. So I'll just move that to one side. So, I mean, obviously that is another example of something else you could use. And I'm wondering where I put the other one. Is obviously your bows. Now, again, you know, you could just put a bow completely, you know, completely on its own. It looks absolutely fine. You could just incorporate it with a bit of sari silk, you know, or ribbon or fabric or, you know, whatever it is that you've got access to. So, for example, this little tiny bit of sari silk, I could just cut off, you know, the tiniest piece on the planet. So, I mean, you could just use like literal sca scraps for this and just pop the bow onto there and just, you know, chuck that down onto the page. It just looks so pretty and there's, you know, there's been no thought going to that, no, um, you know, strategic placing of it or anything. I mean, I literally just kind of chucked it on there and, you know, how it landed, I went. So I'm just going to cut these edges off because actually they seem to have some, some sort of black thread running through. But just take those off and <clears throat> just by layering, just by layering the bow onto the oops, onto the fabric itself it's just adding a bit more interest you know it looks a little bit more deliberate a little bit more fancy than just having the bow on there so you know just tiny little things like that can really make quite a big difference to the overall look of of your journal so you know always worth keeping hold of little scraps and things and you know working with them you can then use different types of trims. So I've got a few different trims here. Oh my goodness, they're all getting very tangled up now in the threads of the sorry silk. I just chucked it all here, obviously, to do, to do the video. And I hadn't really kind of thought about how tangled up it was all going to become. So, oh my gosh, hold on. Sorry, I've got some sorry thread stuck on my finger. Um, right. So I've got some different kind of trims and things here. So... I'll just show you, you know, different sizes, different shapes, different types. I've got some of my lovely black bling that I absolutely love using all the time. 
So exactly the same. You could take this trim and use it in exactly the same way. So for example, I can cut this down, you know, can just cut. I like to, this one is a, you know, a giant um, pearly trim. Uh, so for this one, I like to just cut two off really. You know, for some reason, two for me seems to work quite well. And then again, just pop it onto the edge of a page like that. Doesn't that look so pretty? And then using the exact same concept as we used for that bow, which, what have I done with that now? Oh, this was not a very, <laughs> very good video to do because, of course, everything just, um, you know, keeps getting buried. But exactly as we did with the bow, you can layer your pieces up. So, for example, here, we've just popped this little piece on. And then if I take... Just seeing where those little tiny bits of, oh, here we go. I could take this tiny little bit of lace. So again, you know, absolute scraps that would just be, you know, being thrown away really otherwise. But you could just put that on, layer it up with the sari silk, layer it up with the um, pearly trim. And doesn't that just make such a difference? You know, instead of just using the pearls, just layer up one or two little bits and then again, you know, move it round. Don't be afraid to kind of like put it in different places, maybe some more obscure places than you would typically ordinarily use. And it just looks gorgeous, doesn't it? You know, every single piece that I've put down so far, I've really, really loved. And, you know, they've taken seconds to actually put down. So, you know, any one of these things would be a really great option. Again, with the bling so if I just cut myself off a little strip of bling oops so you know you could obviously just put the bling down on its own looks absolutely fine you know nothing wrong with that it looks pretty or again take some extra pieces so for example I've just got some lace here and just literally layer up with a bit of lace and how much more interesting does that look? It looks instantly really great, doesn't it? Again, you can move it around. You don't have to have it always on the outside edge. You could have it on the inside edge. You could have it on the top. You could have it on the bottom. You know, you could have it on the inner inner edge of the bottom. You don't have to always go for the external, you know, external edges. Now, I would say, just a sort of tip here, I wouldn't really put bulky pieces here on the inner edge. So I wouldn't go any more bulky than this. And if I just kind of show you, I mean, this is probably like, you know, a millimetre thick. Um, you know, I wouldn't go bulkier than that because it would get damaged as your journal closes. You'd have a sort of lump here and it would eventually damage the other pages. So I would kind of, you know, restrain myself to nothing thicker than this. But that would be absolutely fine. So again, looks super pretty, doesn't it? And then, you know, you could use more deliberate embellishments so I've got here some of my lace clusters I do sell these on my website on my shabbydabbydoodah.co.uk website but you could put lace clusters now these are absolutely gorgeous aren't they and look at how pretty they look just you know hanging off of a page or you know on the corner or at the top they just are so lovely aren't they so you know again could go anywhere and don't be afraid to layer up your embellishment pieces so, for example, here, I've got some ruffle, you know, pre-made fabric ruffle. And you could always layer it up. So you've got your lace cluster at the top. You could have your lace cluster, you know, midpoint in your fabric ruffle or on, on your fabric ruffle. And it just, again, it's just elevating your decoration to another level and, you know, making it stand out, making your journals look different, making your journals... Um, you know, extra special and, you know, extra memorable, really. So, you know, don't be afraid to do any of those types of things. Again, you could take ribbon and you could put ribbon underneath your lace clusters and things. You could take, for example, the velvet ribbon that we started with, if I can bring that in. If I take the straight edge rather than the buckled piece. So you could take your ribbon and then you could have your lace cluster part way down the ribbon. How pretty does that look? 
you could take your ribbon and you know you could just cut it here and have it just kind of hanging a little bit down and have your lace cluster at the top there you could have it at the bottom you could have it over here with some ribbon coming out you know all sorts of different things that you could do you could have it running across the middle of the the page with some cluster on there and then that would be kind of quite fun for your journaling because you could have like the top half for pictures the bottom half for journaling or you know the top half for maybe like lists or something and the bottom half for you know quotes or something like that so you know don't be afraid to kind of mix things up and break your pages up and you know kind of experiment with different looks and things like that and then you know going with the you know the ready-made things I mean obviously this is is ready-made or handmade depending on whether you bought sort of you know some ready-made uh, lace clusters or made them yourself but you can always get things like this this is like an applique type piece as is this one um this is that one that I've always referred to as bridal lace I don't know really whether it strictly speaking is but again you could put things like this down on your pages you know I wouldn't have obviously both of them on a page but I'm just showing you how they would look and you know again they're taking up sort of a very small amount of space I mean this one has got a bit of bulk because it's got the pearl on it so again if you were worried about that compromising your journal most of these things are um you know dismantleable so I would pull this off if it was worrying me and then you've got the two flowers so you know you could either have two so you could move them around or just layer it up like this and then you could put something else in the center of it so for example here I've got this trim whoops and you could just pop that on there and that way you've lost that bit of bulk which was that pearl which you know just may have compromised the page slightly but you've still kept that gorgeous flower so you know kind of again don't be afraid to pull things apart or change how they originally came to you because you can always make them work you know in different ways of course alongside that I've got things like sari silk and you know oops oops take this one down it's got hold on so of course you could take things like sari silk you could just like glue it ruffled down on the edge of the page all sorts of different things that you can do with just a handful of different embellishment types so that being kind of um the case let's just go through and decorate a couple of these pages using some of those little bits and pieces so i kept this one together because i loved how it looked so i don't know really whether it goes necessarily with him to be honest so I might just yeah might just move it through maybe I will have it here because that looks quite pretty so again I would just glue this down now I'm very um lazy when I'm doing videos because obviously I want things to have glued down instantly I don't want you all sitting there having to wait for things to glue down so I'm just using hot glue obviously you know if you're doing things like this in slow time and you're not in a rush for things to glue down you don't have to use the hot glue you could use you know wet glue or fabri -Tac or anything like that so whoops you know the hot glue is just a a time saver while i'm doing videos so again just positioning that lace so that when i glue this whoops this pearly trim down it's just going to hold that lace in place so i'm just going to take this and oops glue that down and obviously it needs to overlap the lace a little bit so that you actually have you know have glued the lace down and then that's just you know that's just on there and it looks absolutely lovely doesn't it so so pretty so that's kind of got us started straight away on the first page so I might take in my my pink ribbon with the pearly buckle and I just just cut this down so again you know you don't have to go like the full length of the page or the full height of the page you could just take a sort of portion of this and glue it down like that now do I want that on there or would I prefer it I mean actually I think it's quite lovely on here so because I've used quite a wide ribbon in this buckle I just need to kind of fiddle around with this and get the oops get the ribbon on unfolded as best I can Oops. just struggling to do that a little bit hold on okay right 
So, yep, take that. Now, I'm going to just glue this straight down onto the page. Now, by doing a run of hot glue straight down like that, and then just a little bit onto the buckle section of the ribbon. So hopefully then I've kind of, you know, got it pretty sturdy onto the page like that. Okay. So glue that down. Oops, just got a bit of glue there. I've done it a little bit long, so I can just peel that off like that. And then, you know, you can just go in and obviously add a bit of extra if, like me, you've mucked it up a bit by, you know, I glued it over a bit too far. And that's just ensuring that that's glued down. But how pretty does that look? It's gorgeous, isn't it? So that's that page done straight away. Obviously, you don't need to have things on every single page. You may decide to have one or two pages, you know, without things. Um, I'm just wondering what I did with my little, there we go. my little kind of ruffly banner thing so i'm going to just put that here like that and we will just put that bow again if i can find it honestly i had all these things and i just kind of chucked them on the pile and now they're all lost in the pile i wonder whether it's no i can't now see it on on the um thing anywhere so what have i done with that oh my gosh I'm sure I had a couple of bows here, so there must be another one. But I've got a pink one, so you know, there's no reason why we can't use can't use a pink one, although that one's now coming undone here. Oh my goodness. Oh it's now turning into a disaster movie, so I do apologise. Oh gosh, that one's come undone. Right, let me find another bow. Hold on. Oh, sorry about that. So yeah, I've actually got a little purple one. Or I could use the white. To be honest, they both look lovely, don't they? So I might do one with white and then further further in, I might do another one with the purple because I actually think they look gorgeous. So I'm just going to glue the, the bow straight down, which hopefully, you know, will go straight through the lace and hold the glue, uh, the, hold the lace in place. So like that. Okay. So again, you know, might just leave this page completely plain like that rather than having things on every single page. So then going back over, we'll just take perhaps this piece that I'd got earlier and perhaps we'll just have this one layered up here. I quite liked it on the inside, funnily enough. So this time I'm just going to glue the lace down just using the wet glue like that. And then just take my bling. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's tricky. Oh dear. <laughs> right, so obviously a how not to, how not to video, but anyway, we've we've glued that on. So I mean, doesn't that look so gorgeous? It looks absolutely lovely, doesn't it? So sorry, I'm just going to put my pin back into my glue because otherwise it's just dripping everywhere I've had it leaning on my hot glue so it was you know raring to go and now of course it's really raring to go uh so we've got that one um let me just have a look and see whether we might want to have a little lace embellishment on the facing page isn't that just so gorgeous absolutely love how that looks Okay, I'm going to turn that back over. I mean, I don't know why I'm working backwards, really, but anyway, it really doesn't matter. So let's take maybe the flower here. Now, what did I do with the centre of the flower now? Oh, my goodness. Honestly, I'm, like, literally losing every single thing that I bought along. Shout if you can see it. Oh, here we go. So I'll just take the flower and again, you know, have that possibly kind of overlapping the page a little bit. We could have it maybe at the top or again, you know, could even put it in the middle because it's actually quite a flat piece. But I might have it even on this, this edge here. So I'm going to just glue this down 
like that. Okay. So it's overlapping the edge, which, you know, that's fine. And then just pop this one on the top. Like that. And then for the middle bit, I'm just going to take... Oops, there we go. How weird. Out of all the stuff that was still showing up, this was still showing. So would you believe it? You know, tiny little bit like that was still showing. And yet the bow that I, <laughs> I was using, I've lost it. So there we go. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Absolutely lovely. So back to this page. Again, I mean, I could just leave it. Or perhaps we'll take some of this. And we'll pop this on because actually this has got quite a lot of ivory. So this just kind of like brings the ivory into the facing page. So, yeah, I quite like that. Again, you know, play around and just suit yourself where you'd, you know, where you fancy having it. So maybe I'll have this one up here. Okie dokie. Oops. Like that. Okay. Like that. And then the other thing that I might put on this page is I've just got some butterflies, which I'm going to tie in this colour over onto this page. So I've made this page previously. Um, you know, it obviously didn't really have much in the way of purple going on. So this butterfly, obviously, exactly the same colour as this page. It's just going to bring more you know, more purple in onto this page, which I think is, you know, quite a good thing to to do. So let's just see where do we want it. Maybe there. And that's just, you know, got the two pages to kind of like, yeah, be incorporated a little bit better because there was obviously a lack of the purpley colour on there. So that's those. Now I've got another chunk of plain pages for journaling, which are back here. So again, going to just do the same, you know, the same types of things on these. So again, just pulling in some of my bits and bobs that I've brought along. So I've brought along quite a lot of, quite a lot of, a lot of lace clusters. So I don't need anywhere near this amount, if I'm truthful. So let's just see which, which one we think is going to look good here. Mm, maybe this one. I mean, I'm thinking something probably with with pink really so actually maybe that one yeah maybe this mm. oh I don't know actually I might might not have my lace cluster on there I don't know quite what what I think it needs on here possibly actually some more of the pink ribbon on this one because I feel like I've got quite a bit of pink going on on this page or could of course incorporate some more of the pink sari silk which would then just you know pick up the sari silk from there so I could just have it here and actually what I could do is make a little streamery type bit just like we did previously with those bits of lace so if I just take this oops just put that there oops like that let me just get a little bit more of the lace so I already have this one okay it's hard to say again which is the right way and the wrong way I know I always struggle struggle with that there we go like that and then I wonder if I could use something ivory-ish to kind of like hold it down do you know I'm now thinking perhaps I would have been better off with this mm, I'm trying to tie in like these colors on this page onto this page so I can't decide what what are the colors that really are kind of like singing out to me maybe it's actually the blue I don't know let me just try let me just try another bit of this I mean I call this like a cat's eye trim so I'm just going to cut this down. 
So I hope everybody's having a good day. I hope you are managing to do some crafting and having a nice time. Do let us know below what you're working on. It's always really good to share, you know, share your projects that you're working on. Oh, do you know, I think perhaps I just need something like that on there, to be honest. Just to bring in a bit more of the ivory type colour. So, yeah, I'm going to, going to go with that. Now, let me just check. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Decisions, decisions. Right. Okay. So I'm going to have it like that. So again, just going to, just going to hot glue, but like over some of those solid type parts. Oops. To just glue that down first. Okay. And we'll just glue this one on. Okay, like that. Okie dokie. So, you know, I mean, it's not straight on or anything. It just, you know, I've just kind of, again, used that plonking method of just plonking it down wherever it's landed. But it looks lovely, doesn't it? Sometimes I think you can overthink things. And actually, you know, often I find when I've overthought them is when I'm least pleased with them. So, you know, sometimes it's worth kind of trying to be a little bit quicker. And then things, you know, sometimes just come together actually better than if you'd sat thinking about them for ages. So again, I've got another one of those purple bows. So this time I'm just going to glue these down first, only because obviously I'm using the sari silk. And, you know, that bow is not going to glue through the sari silk. So whereas the other one, I just held the bits down with the bow. But because the sorry silk is solid, it's not going to glue that down. So, like that. Okay, how gorgeous does that look? So, you know, just a little bit of interest on that page. You know, lifting it, making it look a bit more interesting and sort of a bit prettier. Again, might just leave this page completely plain for journaling. And then going over the page... So here, obviously, I've got two different sort of colourways. I've got like the lilac and the pink. So this is where, you know, we could tie it in by putting, for instance, the pink um, lace cluster or, you know, the lace cluster with the pink gem because it's just tying in the pink from this side. Um, we could even have, you know, something else kind of on there pink. Uh, let's just see. Oh, do you know, I think I'm just going to go with the, the pink cluster. I'm just going to cut that off there. Okay. Yeah, let's just put that down here. Oops, I just need another glue stick. Right. So, like that. Again, I just always do glue these down with hot glue. Um, so, you know, whether I'm rushing to do a video or not, I would always tend to use hot glue for the lace clusters and things like that because they're quite a heavy embellishment. So anything a bit bulky, I'd use the hot glue and that way it's, you know, it's just a foolproof kind of method of getting it glued down. So then I've got this page. So again, we could leave it plain or perhaps I'll just put a bit of this little trim on here. Let's take that down. So maybe just a little bit over there on the side. I mean, like I say, there's no reason why you couldn't leave these pages completely plain, but to be honest, I just think, why would you? <laughs> why would you? You know, if you can make them look pretty, why would you want to leave them completely plain? So, yeah, that's my kind of thought process. And then on this page, I'm thinking, you know, the first one that we did where we took the lace and we layered it with a bit of the pink lace over the top. So, for example, here and then the pink lace over the top of there is again pulling in this colour. I mean, this is a sort of mauvey colour, 
but it's definitely got sort of pink hues kind of th running through it which if we put it there on with this lace it's just bringing the pink in now i would leave this really wide but to be honest i'm going to i think trim this down oh oh dear i've torn that lace completely oh dear well <laughs> should we do this so yes don't ever let your mistakes kind of get the better of you just go with it and we'll just use it like this instead so again just going to glue this down now i'm going to wet glue this one so i'm just intermixing the wet and the hot glue so i will wet glue this but i will hot glue probably the pink lace over it so like that oops let me just pop this pop that pin back into the glue come on oh my goodness <gasps> fiddly fiddly right <laughs> oh and guess what i just found yeah i just found that white bow i mean weird don't know why i couldn't find it but there must have been something on top of there just now so again just going to put this down so just run my hot glue straight down onto there just glue that down like that okay and then could even have the white bow on there you know just because actually oh no now i'm gluing it the wrong way around oh my goodness that's not destined to be used is it i mean it's now blobbed a bit of hot glue on the wrong side of it oh gosh right okay so yeah i mean how pretty does that look so you know again we've just made a sort of little cluster of items by just layering up and gluing, you know, one thing on top of the other, which looks gorgeous, doesn't it? So I'm going back over. So I think maybe we'll use a bit more of the sorry silk on this one. So again, thinking, do we want to use this, you know, very rich kind of purple colour, which is quite lovely, isn't it? Um, or do we want to go for the slightly paler one? Perhaps we'll go with this slightly, slightly paler one. Oh, especially because actually we're at the end of that. So yeah, I'll just tear that down. So what we could do is, oh, I was going to say ruffle it up. It's got some glue stuck on there. So yeah, perhaps we won't be able to do that. Let's cut that glue off. So, well, let's just ruffle this down as best we can here. So, oops that down ruffle it slightly like that. I mean to be honest that looks gorgeous just on its own doesn't it I'll just put a bit more glue on because it's quite a wide wide piece but yeah that looks lovely just even on its own and then what should we put on top of that I mean it does look gorgeous and doesn't probably even need anything on there but see whether we maybe we'll have some of this or could have some of this little flowery pearls Oops. just try those oh yeah so just take these couple down like that you know and again we're just kind of like gluing that down just anywhere on that on that sorry silk so like that how gorgeous does that look so you know we might leave this plain for journaling and then we've got this page here so i'm just going to move this i think i need to paper clip this one on if i recall so again you know just have a look and see if you can incorporate any of the colors on the facing page so i mean this page has got quite a variety of color going on on it um but it has got this gorgeous colour here so I just happen to have this little bit of sorry silk which was weirdly just laying around so again I might just ruffle this down just here on the edge so it yeah just worked out lucky that that was there complete fluke and it's not often that that happens is it <laughs> it's much more often that I just lose those things I did want to use you know definitely not often that I find things that I'd not even 
realised were there. So again, just a little bit more, oops, a little bit more hot glue there. Just so as I get a good, you know, good run going right down that edge. Okay. Love how that looks. And it just, you know, like I say, it's picking up those colours. Now I've also got, I think, one more, one more butterfly. Do we want to have a butterfly on here? Maybe. Yeah, maybe just a little butterfly. Which again is sort of echoing the butterfly that we've got on this side now. So it's, you know, it's just continuing the theme through on those plain pages from the, the decorative pages. Haven't used any stamping. I didn't use any stenciling or anything like that. I've just gone with literally, you know, glued on pieces. So they couldn't really be, you know, more easy or quicker um, ways to actually kind of like embellish your plain pages, to be honest. You know, they're totally... Um, you know, accessible finishing touches. So yeah, absolutely love how they all look. So I just need to go back through my journal and just check that I've got all the, you know, all the finishing pieces that I do want to have on here. I feel like I could be lacking, um, you know, a little bit of bling. I feel like I could be lacking a bit of, um, yeah, like finishing touches generally so I'm just going to go back through and just glue some pieces on now I've noticed that this lace it's not that brilliantly glued down here it's just glued here so I'm just going to pop this on as a bit of a um you know a way of gluing my lace down to be honest so not only does it look gorgeous but it also has the added bonus of you know it's gluing that page down so gorgeous pretty page it's got one of my little perfume clusters on there as well so love how that looks this page I don't really think that needs anything else if I'm truthful I think it's looking you know pretty embellished and you know quite quite fussy enough as it is so I think I'll leave that one so these pages I absolutely love this page I have to say it's so gorgeous but again I'm thinking does it need you know Maybe like a little bow or anything. Just anywhere, maybe even at the side of here. Now I did notice that this has come apart when I when I was stuffing the pockets. I thought this was a tuck spot and I pulled it and um yeah, what an idiot. Was not a tuck spot, was meant to be a pocket. Glue uh pulled it and you know ripped it up. So just pop that down there and then what did I do with that white bow now? Oh, gosh. Mm. Don't know what I've done with that, but see if this one will go. Mm. I mean, it's not bad. It does tie in with this over here, but yeah, maybe I would have preferred, would have preferred the white one. I mean, how could I have lost that in the space of like two seconds? Oh, there it is. Yeah, because I feel like it's quite a, um, you know, oops, neutral coloured page. So I think the neutral colour just looks better, to be honest. So because, you know, I was quite loving the the neutral colour of the page. So, yeah, I'm going to just stick with that. There we go. How pretty does that look? I don't think it needs any bling anywhere. I mean, that's unusual for me to be honest to not not have bling so let's just double check just in case i've made a mistake and it does need it no i actually don't think it does yeah i don't think it needs it i mean we could have a little bit here i suppose oh do you know everything's everything's better with bling so yeah let's just pop a bit down there okay right so that one uh, this facing page, so this is a vellum pocket on here, which looks lovely, doesn't it? So let's just see if we want to have anything over here, maybe a bow or anything. Mm. Mm. I mean, to be honest, it's quite a, you know, quite a decorated page. I'm not sure really whether it needs anything. If I'm truthful. Just, sorry, just, oh my goodness, I've got like threads stuck on me and I can't get them off into the bin. Hold on. Oh, right. Otherwise, if the threads are there, every time I pick things up, things are actually stuck on them, which is not great. So 
So we could have a little bit of fabric ruffle or something down the bottom. Maybe that would just finish that off a bit better. I mean, not that it really, you know, it's not looking unfinished. But do we think it needs anything anything else? Or could even have a bit of the sari silk ruffled up, perhaps. Hmm. Yeah, that's quite nice isn't it and it does tie in then up there so yeah let's just take a little bit of this not too much don't want it to be you know too heavily ruffled but just a little bit right this is a really wide piece of sorry silk for some reason look at how wide that is so yeah might hmm. oops and whether to tear that down or whether I can try and ruffle it and keep it keep it narrower might not be able to do that so just tear it down okay right so let's just again pop some hot glue here like that okie dokie so again just you know ruffle this up like that Okey and then just a little bit more going along here. Oops. Like that. Okay. Shall I put this on or shall I cut it off? I feel like it's got enough really, so I'm just going to, yeah, cut that now. I didn't want it being like really you know, really dominated by loads of, loads of the sorry silk. So there we go. Okay, right. Okay, loving how that looks. So this page was probably my favourite page in the whole of the um, journal. And I just absolutely love how it's so, um, I know it's not colourless, but you know, it's kind of neutral, isn't it? And I just absolutely love how it looks. So I don't know, you know, I don't want to spoil it by smothering it with anything, um, you know, that could just detract from how lovely it currently looks. And that being said, we could always have this little, you know, couple of flowers. They look very pretty, don't they? So, yeah. So I haven't got any of the black bling on here. Actually, this journal, I don't think I've really got very much of that black bling anywhere. I have no reason, you know, for that. I just, yeah, I just haven't. But, yeah. Weird. Right. Again, I haven't got any fabric ruffles, I don't think, in this journal. So, wondering if I need to put any on. Actually, I don't think it really necessarily needs them. So, yeah. I mean, they look pretty. But, you know, do they actually kind of add anything... And are they a little bit weirdly shaped? Mm. Well, do you know, perhaps it does. Oh, this is the same old thing, isn't it? You know, you add things there just to see or just to try. And then once you've, you know, once you've tried them, I just think it's hard to then not, not have them. Because generally, you know, once you move them, everything then looks really plain. So, yeah, we'll have the fabric ruffle there looks very nice right let's just glue that down okay right do we need anything here now just wondering if we need mm, probably not that no um just need to glue this down a little bit because i feel like it's just at risk of you know flapping around uh, do we want to have trim across here? Don't know whether we do need it or not, but possibly we do. So let's just take this. So I'm just going to take a row of three because this is that cat's eye trim, but it's in the small version. So 
you know, whereas I said I mainly use it in rows of two for the larger one. I I use it in all different sizes in the in the smaller version. So right. Uh, yeah, I think maybe a little bit there. What do we think? Just there. Okay. Okie dokie. And then this page here, which again, absolutely love, 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 love this page. I have to say this is looking like it might be going to be one of those journals that I end up hoarding instead of actually parting with. Honestly, why does that even happen? Why is that even a thing? I have no idea. But just very ridiculous, you know. But yeah, I've got this funny feeling about this one. It will not come easy to part with it. But but I've tried to stop myself from hoarding journals recently. So um, yeah, maybe I do need to just, you know, just be strong and just get rid of it. Because there's no point, you know, hoarding things, is there? Mm. You know, I know I've said this before, but I mean, I'm not actually a journaler. So, you know, it's pointless me keeping it, to be honest. I'm just literally keeping it for the sake of it because I can't, you know, can't quite bring myself to part with it, which is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. So, yeah, perhaps I should just be a little bit stronger willed and actually just... Just let go of it. Not try and hoard it at all. Uh, I'm just going to see. I don't think probably this will look right, but just in case. Oh, do you know? I mean, it would have looked quite cute on there, but I'm not sure where I could actually have it. You know, it's not that I don't like it. I do quite like it, but it's finding an area where it will actually go so I mean, we could just have it there i suppose is that a bit weird well i don't think so i don't think it's that weird i think again case of more is more if in doubt always just have it <laughs> there we go yeah that looks pretty doesn't it okay right so that's that one uh, this one here, this is just a tiny page, so do I need anything on there? Mm, probably not. We've got a little bit of bling here on the, you know, the pocket itself, so I think that's probably enough. That was that one. Now, do we want to have a little gem or something on there? Possibly we do. Um, oh my goodness, what happened to that little packet of gems that I had? Huh. Right, here we go. Oh, well, that's not great, is it? I've lost something else now. Yeah, I mean, again, you know, not saying it, it needs them or needs one, but, you know, I do think it sort of ties it all in then with the rest of the journal, which is quite, you know, quite pretty and girly. I'm not saying that's not pretty and girly, but, yeah, by just having that bit of bling, it sort of ties it in even more, doesn't it? Now, I'm just wondering whether I might want to have a little bit of bling on the butterfly, so... That's that butterfly that we put on just now, if you remember, when we were doing our easy finishing touches. So just take that down. Oops. Just see. Yeah. You know, again, it's not really essential, but it does just, you know, bring something else to the page, doesn't it? So, yeah. Okay. Right, so we are probably about halfway through the journal. Um, I don't know how long I've been filming for, if I'm truthful. So I may just have to um, call it quits there and do the rest of the journal, obviously, off camera. Otherwise, you know, there'll be no point in a flip through because I would have done the whole thing with you guys. Um, so, yeah, I hope that you've got some ideas. I hope it's inspired you with some of our very easy finishing touches, um, you know, for your plain pages. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Oh, gosh. So sorry about that. That was my phone. Um, so, yes, I hope you've got some ideas and some inspiration for some very quick and easy um, little finishing touches for your junk journals and your plainer pages. 
And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope that you all have a fantastic day. I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks then. Bye.